So our day two agenda is why HTML is important to learn, how to learn HTML. We'll see some practical example. We'll see some CSS example, and we will see some of the JavaScript example. A, a good test automation engineer should be good in understanding the web page because web page are written in html css and javascript language so how to learn it why html is important so let's see a web page so for example let's say our own website testology.in that website when we say any website behind that actually it is rendering the um, HTML. When you see the, you know, a spinner was going on, when you do the refresh, right? One spinner is here. If you see at the top, there is one spinner. We say it spinner technically. So what happens is it is the website and everything is called as elements. So if you see here, one logo is also an element. Here is one picture of this, let's say arrow. There is a phone icon. There is some course drop down is here. There is a team link. Everything is web element. We say it as web element. There is again some video that is also web element. There is one picture that is also element. So this is the code is actually written in what we say HTML. So what we have to do is we have to understand how this is written. So it will be easy for you to identify the element when you do automation code. So in the automation, what you will do, you will identify because automation is nothing but sequence of um sequence of uh, let's say the steps which we follow in the manual testing the same steps are automated so for example if the step is click on the drop down hover over the course and click on the selenium java so that is a test step so to identify to perform this step you have to understand what is the HTML code behind this and how to click on Selenium Java. So everything is HTML code. So let's see how to learn it. And I have set an, uh, an agenda that you should complete the HTML course within 30 hours. So I'm expecting on this weekend, you will complete this thing. I'm here to help you on everything. So let's see how to learn HTML in practical way. So we have a good resource. So for example, this uh, W3 school is a good uh, website to learn HTML. So I am clicking on HTML tutorial and here you have chapter by chapter, you have something. So I'm picking any random thing and I will tell you how it will get executed on your system and uh, how you can see it. Um, someone is, I'm putting on mute. Okay, okay, fine. So um, let's see. So for example, uh, let me go to HTML element. I'm going to any random HTML tutorial page and we'll see what they are talking about. So they are talking about the tags and uh, how it works. So let's cover this thing today. So there are three tags they have. Uh, they are putting an example. So what we will do, we'll copy this. You don't have to do anything. You just copy it keep it on your notepad plus plus so i'm keeping it here and then 
change the language. Language is HTML and put it in a proper indentation. So you will get to know which things are under what tag. I will describe everything. Wait for just some time. So let's understand this code that this is like a start of the HTML. You can, it's optional, you don't have to write this. So the code is starting from the HTML. Any website starts or any HTML page starts with HTML tag. So we say it tag, HTML is a tag, body is a tag, h1 is a tag he is also tag everything is tag whatever you see just after this left arrow okay so this is the start of the html document and then there is a body body means whatever you see on the website as a content is actually the html body so right from starting from this monday friday some phone number this is a part of this website and that is that will come under body then h1 so i have picked a very you know simple and uh, um, random example so h h stands for header so in html they have different kind of header defined h1 h2 h3 i think till h6 i am just thinking that it should be till h6 i am not sure but you can check it no worries on that that till what level it goes so based on h1 h2 h3 h5 the font size will be different then p p means the paragraph when you put some content, some text, you are putting it under P. So let's save it. So I'm saving this document and let me put into a folder um, Selenium tutorial. And sorry, let me put into a particular folder. I want to put it into a good way. So let's name it the detail and that. So here um, we have recording here i am putting and the day two here i am putting it as um example and it will be the extension should be html so any html has extension dot htm or dot html so for example any word document has uh, extension dot doc doc or doc doc x any um, text document has extension dot txt any java program has extension dot java any picture picture generally has jpeg or png i think any video has dot mp3 mp4 mov and there are different different extensions in the same way the html document has extension dot html so i have saved it somewhere let how to run those right so it's it's nothing like running anything it's like opening your code in opening your code in html so we have saved it as dot html if you see here it has come here you just have to double click here. If you double click here, you are able to see that it is showing my first heading, my first paragraph. If we compare with the code, I will show the code side by side. 
what we have written and what it is displaying. So if you see here, inside the body, if you see H1, my first heading, so it's a bigger heading and with uh, automatically it is bold in bold font and then paragraph is simple in a simple text some default text font it has so for example if i change it to h2 so that's what i'm saying you should try different things you should learn you can again google what is header tag what is h1 what is h2 right it's continuous learning thing until you understand a particular concept so if you see this time when i did h2 this header is now the font size is automatically changed let's make it h4 h4 so any tag has the starting tag and the end when we do end there is a forward slash we end it by forward slash and the tag name so let me save it and when we refresh it it's again the size is changed so header is actually related to the it looks like an header to start any to before starting of any paragraph in the paragraph you can change anything you can write anything here also you can change the heading so you can try with testology session day two and it's all about learning attitude i'm done i'm putting something don't worry about what text we are putting i'm just doing a refresh if you see here it has changed whatever we have written it's coming here so in this way you can practice about html let's see any different random example so i am selecting let's say html id though you have to learn it one by one don't be in hurry to you know complete the thing anyways you should learn you should try to understand what theory they are providing here how they are implementing it whether you are write your own code on your own system or not whether when you change something you are able whether it is reflecting on the html page or not that also you should try so for example let's try this thing i will make you understand what it is don't worry about it so let me click here because that is not the complete code the complete code is this okay so this is actually covering the css part also so let me put it here and i will tell you what it is so i am making a new file and i am changing the language as html and don't worry about what is written here as a style let's see oh it is not copied okay this is starting from here so let me do it like a proper indentation so here like this so this is starting here that is style is started here and ended here on the same level i want to make it looks like parent and child so html has one child head head has one child style tag so it looks like you know perfectly on what is the sibling and what is the child so now under the html head is started head is closed body is started under the body we have h2 and then one paragraph and then one another h1 header and then we have body and then body is closed here and html is closed here 
so we will concentrate on this don't worry about what is written before there's a style and everything right so let's save it first i'm saying saving it like uh, um html demo no id demo id demo with css i'm saving it and let's see what it is it is exactly same what we did in the example right what we have written body inside the body some header tag and then in the header tag it it is closed so it will be printed as it is on the website and then there is a paragraph paragraph is started and paragraph is end with some text and then we have h1 another header but this time there is a there is something different so this is called attributes this is called tag as i mentioned whatever you see just after left arrow is tag and then if before ending of the tag whatever you see is actually the attributes so we have declared one attribute here my header some name you can change this name also i will change it so i am making it um test header i can give my own name as well right but in that case i'll tell you why i'm doing all this thing so test header and then here we have written something so i'm writing let's say again testology classes something and now let's understand what is this id so this id will not be visible when you run this or open this in html so let me run it i am opening so so anywhere that uh, id is not visible right so i will change the whole text because you should not get confused of what it is written it, it can be anything right so let's say india is great i'm writing something something else right h2 is i'm writing something here let's say demo of headers size something and let me refresh this page so if you see here um let me open the html code here and you will see so just concentrate on the body part what we have done is h2 when we see h2 demo of header size if you see here it has printed like this when we have written p tag it is putting india is great like this and now when you see h1 right and then for this we have put one id attribute test header test logic classes test logic classes let me delete this id is equals to header i am deleting it okay we'll put it again don't worry refresh it see that style has gone some background color in the particular it was coming on the middle it is gone so let me to control z so here it is written id is equals to test header so what developer the web developer does is they give if they want to you know put some style put some colors on it right some background color on something what they do is generally they declared to be they declared some kind of attribute to identify a particular tag so for example this h1 tag has now identification id as test header is like this so for example here what they have done is declared id is equals to test header and then if you see here inside the head they have put style 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 is related to the css 
So what they are doing? Test header. They are deciding what should be the how test header should look like. So I'm putting it properly. So here, if you see ID, so because they put it as ID, they are declaring it as hash. So inside the style, whatever the ID, they will start with the hash. This is the definition of test header. What they are saying, wherever the test header will be there as an ID for any tag, Put the background color as light blue. Let me make it here. It should be like this. Background color, semicolon, light blue. Color, this is a text color, black. Padding, 40 pixels. Text alignment, center. Center means it will come on the web page center. So let me save it and we'll refresh it. If you see here, the sign, if you see here just a minute let me open again the notepad so that you will see what is happening so if you see here the style the background color is light blue the text color is black padding is the 40 pixel so generally this padding is from here like vertical padding is 40 pixel different and then text alignment is center so it is on the center now let's say I want to change the color so you can put it let's say red here and let's see if it is changing so if you see here testology classes has come in red color now I want to give this also some kind of style demo of header size the first value that also I want to give some kind of style. So what we will do, it's very simple. Here in the H2 tag also, you will put some kind of ID is equals to, in the double quote, I'm writing my header style, anything, you, you give your own name. Don't worry about it. My header style style but if you have declared an id you have to define also what is my header style so let me change it like this i am copying it putting it another another hash test header this time it should be my header style here and that will decide the style of this text demo of header size so let me change here also you should not get confused of what text it can be any any text here so i'm putting it here selenium is good thing to learn with html anything i'm writing so if you see here h2 is start here ended here there is some text I want to put the style of that text now so my header style is ID is here I have to declare it here define it here so background color let's change something I want to make it light green and then color let's say I know it will not look good but <laughs> yellow padding let's change something make it 20 text align left so there are three kind of alignment left right center so now we have changed for the h2 so let's see how it will look like let me open both the things so that you will be able to compare what is happening so this is our earlier page i'm doing a refresh once i refresh it see the first part of that HTML, what we have written here inside the body, H2 tag, Selenium is good thing to learn with HTML, and ID we have given, but that is defined here in inside the style. 
background color is light green color is yellow padding is 20 pixel and alignment is left so it is aligned at left side if i make it right so you should be able to guess it now it will come at this portion let me refresh it see it has come here so in this way you can design your own website once you learn and it's very easy but you have to understand some theory in the chapter they they have given for example how the style should be defined style should be inside the head tag in the head you can put style of any of the web element as i have already told everything is web element whatever you see in your website so now as uh, i have covered this how to so how to learn let me go back to the tutorial so you have to you know learn it one by one each chapter completed and because this is written in a very systematic way you should not start learning anything randomly you should learn it chapter by chapter one by one try it on your own change it on your own system and see what is happening and come up with some questions so i'm expecting on monday what we will do tomorrow also we have session but what i'm thinking is you cover this on this um, weekend and on monday you we will not do anything i'll i'll take all the questions only based on your queries you must have a lot of questions about how html is working so what i am expecting is you should complete till html input attributes till this so there are around i am expecting let's say 20 to 25 chapters you should complete and it's a fun to learn so fun to learn html change something learn something now we'll see a small example of h javascript javascript in the same way you embedded the style here if you see here what we have done in this example is we embedded the style in the same html file in the same way you can embed the javascript in your html so javascript is different than the java code java part we will cover javascript is related to your website sometimes the form validation and sometimes the real code is also there there are some programming is there so let's see javascript so javascript has the whole chapter also right i'm taking any simple example here how it works so this is an example i'm copying it and we will put it as a new page here i will change the language setting html so let's learn this html is started inside that there is a body inside that there is a h1 and h1 is started h1 and button started button has lots of things so button started inside the button there are lot of attributes first attribute is button type is equals to button on click something is happening and let's see don't worry about what is written control z let me click it oh it's not going to the first line anyways i'll tell you what it is <coughs> sorry <clears throat> and then in the button there is a text click on me and this button is closed here then there is a pid is equals to demo and then body is closed body is started here body closed here html started here html closed here so 
let me save this so let's save this as html with javascript save okay fine what here it is what it is doing is now let's guess what how this website will look like actually it will show on a bolder and some font size my first javascript let me change it that uh, some header header will come something like this and then there will be a button so button tag will actually create a button in your website when you write type is equals to button actually this is a complete code to make a button then on click there is again one attribute but the value of that attribute is what it is happening on click means when you click this button this particular thing will happen this particular thing will happen i guess i have copied it wrong here here the double quote will come so in on click what will happen this particular code will get executed okay okay this is a particular complex example i'll make it simple don't worry and then click me to display date and time it is the text of that button so about uh, on that button it, it this will be displayed and once you click something is happening i'll make it simple don't worry so let's see what is happening html with javascript once you click here it is showing me the date if you see here it is showing me the date but this date is coming just after this button right who has decided that this date value value is coming that's a different thing this this should be displayed here who has decided it so actually if you see the code here is a paragraph correct and that paragraph text is empty if you see here there is no code written this paragraph is started this paragraph is ended there is no code here there is no text here so that text is actually coming from this code so what it is saying document dot get element by id okay demo and put the html code as the date i know it's somehow complex but let me make it simple i will do something else here so let me because this is somehow complex for you to understand on just day one of learning html so let me make it on click i will call a function so on click mm, show date something like this show date i called show date there is a function and then actually you have to make a show date function okay so this show date function should be defined somewhere so that will come inside the script so let me show you how to define a function in the javascript i'm going here and you'll see a simple are we able to see any function here no any anything is a function actually just let me see here so how to embed the script script is a script you can write it anywhere so i'm just copying now let me search somewhere else java script function in html i am doing up here the js function they have so for example function so how to embed it so 
how they have written is inside the script you should write it like this control c don't worry about this thing we are going to change it and we'll make it very simple so here um it should be under body that's fine so here i'm writing it like this so our function name is actually show date that should be called when you click that particular button so the name should be like this so the script is started and it doesn't have any parameter this function is started and this function should actually let me print something so i don't know how to print something on let's say let's see what is the print in java script so let's see what is the example for java script output so there is a function doc document dot inner html okay no problem so you can write in the same way document dot inner html okay so actually we are not returning it anything we'll write it like this oh it's written here fine that's fine and what will happen let's see and uh, here we'll write just click me nothing else and we have to put one uh, e is equals to id demo so here is pid fine okay and let me write it here something uh some text inside paragraph okay let's see what it is and then i'll i'll describe you first it should work then i'll be able to tell you what it is doing so here we have our web page i am doing a refresh if we compare with the code what we have written is h1 some header will come this is showing this then there is a button and the text of the button is click me yes it is coming and on click some function should be called it's like this on click some function should be called i'm just checking whether we are doing on right way or not anyways don't worry about it so on click some function should be called and it will jump to this place inside the script in the same way if you have you have done c c++ or java any language function is called actually and this is the function definition and the function definition we are saying find out where is the demo and change its inner html text as 5 plus 6 so probably 11 will be displayed wherever the paragraph is there so as of now when you see the paragraph value is some text inside paragraph this should change to 11 i'm just guessing yes see the 11 value has come here so let's understand it again or because for some of you maybe it's difficult to see this maybe you are seeing the function first time if you have seen function in any of the programming language it will be easy for you but we have taken i know a random example but try to understand what it is doing is there is a paragraph let me refresh it again so there is a paragraph in the paragraph forget about this id okay some text inside paragraph it's showing it here and that is that's done means html code is done then there is a script where we have defined let let's make it not show that show something show addition something like this and i'm making the 
a function I'm changing here also show addition so this function will be called here what it is doing it is finding where is the demo html sorry where is the id as demo and put that text as now five plus six you can write here date also there is a date function i believe so now how it will do when we click here oh this field date 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 so date i think just this just trying it refresh click me no i'm doing it in a wrong way but maybe the spelling mistake or something date function so date is a predefined function in html which should show the date yes so the date is coming here when i click so what we are doing we are putting the inner html as the date value and there is a particular time 28th august indian standard time is coming here and this some text this is changed to date now so see this thing and you will try to understand you will be able to understand how how it is working right so this is about javascript you should try learning it i'm again saying the difference between a, an automation engineer and a good automation engineer is the good automation engineer actually understands the web page he he or she should be able to understand whenever he will see any website one should be able to tell what is the code written behind any of the element we will talk about how to find out the code for a particular web element in the next session so this is uh, done for this session